Yeah, well, I'm Ask everything. Not to, please. Huh? Don't videotape me. It's part of my story, man. Thank you. Don't videotape me. Well, I'm still doing it. I'm going to. It's part of my story. What story? I'm, I'm not really at liberty to discuss that with you. I don't even know your name. I don't want you videotaping me. That sounds like a you problem. I mean, you shouldn't come up to me with the camera. Go tell the library you want to be videotaped. Oh, I don't want you videotaping me. I, well, I mean, I don't know who you are. Too bad. You know what? If you had the choice, then I mean, I guess we'd be in a different space right now. But you don't. Hey, can these guys videotape me? Who really cares? Like I you're care. coming up to Obviously. me, telling me what I can and can't do. I didn't come up to you, I telling you what you can and can't. You said I, I can't don't videotape, want to videotape you. you. All right? Like now you're backtracking. You you mind your business, I'll mind mine. I said I don't want you videotaping. I don't care me. what you said. Go back to what you're doing. I'm going to go back to what I was doing before you interrupted me. Doesn't need to be rewritten. It needs to be reread. They have a copy in here. Maybe you should go read it. I read the Constitution. Oh, you did. Yeah, what, what's, ama- in what's Amendment One? Uh, um, you have a copy of the Constitution at your house. Seems like you should read the first page. Okay. Okay. Don't follow me, man. Yeah, I am. And what are you going to do about it? Absolutely nothing. What are you asking me? I asked you, what are you going to do about it? And then I compounded that with an answer to my own question where I said, you're going to do absolutely nothing. Whatever you decide, man. You're a free American. None would be good choices. What's going on, everybody? We're at the Bedford Complex. Library. City Hall. Police Station. With MAA audits, check them out, tell them I said, what up? I don't go through metal detectors. Yeah, I don't go through them. Here you go, guys. I don't think I've seen a library rent video game before. That's something cool, something new. Huh? Nice library. Yeah. Now that we're in here. Huh? Hmm? Huh? They got video games. Did you see that? Put your ears on. You see the video games? Oh, yeah. They, got, they have legit video games. Legit? That's like a... Too legit to quit. Yeah. You put the reference on me. Yeah, me too. Well, first I want to know what's over here. Well, I guess I can wander around here. Oh my god, look at their study rooms look like where people get murdered. Here, hold this for a sec. I gotta make a peep ski. I gotta use a pod. Don't judge me.
the difference between sticks. <laughs> we, we all can have the same sticks. Are we comparing, yeah, right there. Are we comparing stick sizes? Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. I was just wondering who made yours. the same company, the same stick. Who same exact yours? thing. They put it back weeds. You know, because oh. underneath my thing is all this shit. Up here is on the other side. See, see what I'm saying? So, yeah, I took all that stuff off my own. They put it together, though. Hello. Banker and Tradesman magazine. Oh, a newspaper. Oh, that's interesting. I, I can't hear you, man. He was saying something. He said, call him. I could, he was saying something to me. Are you taking me? Yeah, well, I'm, everything. Not, please. Huh? Don't videotape me. It's part of my story, man. Thank you. Don't videotape me. Well, I'm still doing it. I'm going to. It's part of my story. What story? I'm, I'm not really at liberty to discuss that with you. I don't even know your name. I don't want you videotaping me. That sounds like a you problem. I mean, you shouldn't come up to me with the camera. Go tell the library you want to be videotaped. No, I don't want you videotaping me. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know who you are. You know what? If you had the choice, then, I mean, I guess we'd be in a different space right now, but you don't. Can these guys videotape me in the library? Uh, people can videotape in the library. It's public. All right. All right, so don't, That's why don't walk up here. Why? why do you want to videotape me? I was, to be honest with you, I was getting the backdrop over there, and then you brought... You following me. So what? You started here? And yeah, I started with there? the backdrop, and then I went over there, and you know what? Who really cares? Like, I you're can't. coming up to me Obviously. telling me what I can and can't do. I didn't come up to you I telling you what you can and can't. You said I, I can't videotape you. Right? Like, now you're backtracking. You, you mind your business, I'll mind mine. I said I don't want you videotaping I don't care me. what you said. Go back to what you're doing, I'm going to go back to what I was doing before you interrupted me. You came out and spoke to me, and now yeah, it's now I'm now I'm being aggressive. So what? That seems provocative. I don't care what you think. Go back to what you were doing. Right. Like it's one thing if we saw the guy studying. You know what I mean, man? Like it's one thing if we see the guy studying in the room and we go inside and we interrupt him and doing what he's doing. It's a complete other thing to understand that he's in a study space to respect his quiet to stay outside and for him to come out and tell me that I can't do something that he doesn't even know if he's right about telling me I can't do. Well, I'm sorry that happened. Thanks for your professionalism. And you didn't want him to videotape? Now he is. He's coming back for round two. He's going to try and get my face. Yes, <laughs> it didn't work out too well for you, my man. Because <laughs> it's kind of hard to get my face, and I'm blocking it. Oh no, you don't want to be taped. Why not? <laughs> I'm just pretending to be you, a complete, a complete Darren. Not gonna hide. Check it out, bro. Look at get the shirt too. What's the shirt? What's the shirt say? We the people. The Constitution needs to be. What's it say? It doesn't need to be rewritten. It needs to be reread. They have a copy in here. Maybe you should go read it. I read the Constitution. Oh, you did? Yeah, Which, what's, ama in what's Amendment 1? Uh, um, Phone a friend. I give you a free hint. What's that? I give you a free hint. No, I'm nervous now. So. Freedom of the press. Freedom of speech. Oh, the press? Right? So freedom of speech, freedom of the press. of the press. Right to address your grievances. I mean, you just took a picture of me. You're a member of the press now. 
I mean, no one decides who isn't isn't pressed, but you have a copy of the Constitution at your house. You have a copy of the Constitution at your house. It seems like you should read the first page. Okay. Okay. Don't follow me, now. No, I am. And what are you going to do about it? Absolutely nothing. What are you asking me? I asked you, what are you going to do about it? And then I compounded that with an answer to my own question where I said, you're going to do absolutely what nothing. Happens? Whatever you decide, man. You're a free American. None would be good choices. I don't know. Now he's being a tough guy. After that whole thing happened the first time, he decided to come back out and I know that's what I just said. Do it again. He played a stupid game. He won a stupid prize. Can we like get up there now? Yeah, that's the mezzanine. You can take the elevator to the third floor. Oh, well then, oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. no, I just hadn't gone that far yet. Oh, do you guys still have um, the the old machines that you look through the? What's it called? We just saw one. Or you microfilm. Yes, we still have one. That's cool. Yeah. That's Super awesome. old school. You've got to keep one at least one. Yeah? Want to print. There's a reference room here. There's, there's Karen there. Bye, Karen. My name's not Karen. All right, sorry, Darren. What to? What is your problem? You. Why? Because you started barking you? orders at me, man. I never told you the one thing, so stop you told me, me. Yeah, it, 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 my constitutional right. The First Amendment gives me the ability to record and have free speech. So I you, agree to that. I'm just asking why do you want to? Why no, you didn't agree to it. Now, you, All right, you should go home and read that book. That constitution. Go home, read the very I'm first not page. Right to you told me I couldn't do it. So you were I denying it. You said, I can't film you. You weren't denying my right to film in public, just my right to film you in public because you wanted an expectation of privacy in public. Watch Let's roll. How about this? Yeah. Roll it back. Don't videotape me. It's part of my story, man. Thank you. Don't videotape me. And now Can we I just watch? played it. Oh, no, that's for later. So people are watching it, and then you said that, and then I said, roll it back, and now we're showing a black and white replay of you saying exactly what you said. I think what I said is I don't want you to videotape me. I didn't okay. say you didn't have a right to videotape in public. Okay, so why, why do you think you could tell a stranger you've never met what they can and can't do? Yeah, I told you I didn't want you to videotape me. Okay. Are you sure that's what you said? Yep, pretty sure. Positive. What's the difference? Because I don't know like, what I'm trying to say to you, right? right. You, you know what you I should do, you my friend? Me, now I'm asking you why you feel compelled Because I'm telling you what I'm going to do right now. I'll be perfectly honest with you. Right now, I, and initially, I just came in to get video footage of the library, right? Okay. And then you started making my business your business. So now what I intend to do with this footage is release it on my YouTube platform oh, you that, has, that has a quarter that's of a million subscribers. Okay. So instead of watching a nice video about an updated library, they're going to watch you trying to impose your will on me, and then, and then take him. I don't think I let the people speak. Want to me. Because I'm in public. Because I'm in public. I, I said, I understand that you have the right to. I'm, I'm telling you why, why I want to. I want to because I'm in public. I'm in a public space. There's cameras there, there, there. You only seem to have an issue with mine. Like, I don't know if, if you're religious or not. That's a good example, right? I do have an issue with... If you were wearing a cross and that was your religion, right? Let's say Catholicism, Christianity. Yeah, not a cross, but I guess similar, right? It's a, it's a Jewish symbol, right? Right. So, so say like I was in here and someone came up and started saying, "Take, I don't want you wearing that around me. I would never say that. No, I didn't say you. I said someone. You, you, you'd probably be watching this thinking, who the hell does this guy think he is? And I'd tell yeah, him he can't. Say, man, I'm on my own business. So yeah, I'm me too. I didn't go. I, listen, I could, I could, I could have went in there. I didn't because you were doing something, right? And you know what? You thought I was full of shit by saying I was getting the backdrop of the city there. This is the dedication. I, look at this is the dedication I have to my city. I have an entire arm sleeve tattoo of Philadelphia? of Boston. That's the Boston State House, State of Massachusetts. Then you got Paul Revere. You got the Boston Tea Party on the back. Felt like you're being aggressive towards me. Oh man, I just don't like when people tell me I can't. They I, they don't want me to or I can't. All right, all right, all right. All right. I have a right to express my... Yeah, of course you do. You have a right to say um, like whatever you want, but basically. The best thing you do, right? When you see somebody with a camera, you don't go up to them and say, I don't want to be filmed. 
if, if we hit you going by, that, that's fine. You know, if we still, if we're standing there like this, two feet from your face, and, and I thought, okay, he's doing something with the library, but then he kind of stopped over there. And we, like yeah, uh, and, and you know why? So, no, you know why I went on the side there because the side was the best angle to get that photograph without you in it. Oh, I see. I mean, I, I can show you. Like, if you think I'm full of shit. Like, you were standing there. I was standing right here, right? This is the last place I was standing. And look at this. Check this out. I'm, I'm going to show you because you think I'm full of it. This is the best space. Now, right there, the best way to get that picture without going in that room or standing right in front of you. All right? You too, man. All right, I'm going to circle around over here. Yeah, I like this library. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All the magazines. They got newspapers over there. Looks like they got the Herald, the USA Today, the Boston Globe, Banker Tradesman, New York Times, Book Review, Wall Street Journal, IBD Weekly. It's a pretty large variety. Yeah, definitely a nice, uh, nice choice. <laughs> oh, it looks like they got some charging stations there. So if you need to charge your phone, you certainly can. Nice view outside there. And some larger print books if you have need for them. But, you know, the, the windows here overlook... Not really the common, but the common area. And you have the town hall and the police department right outside. Certainly a nice place to relax and get some work or just some leisure reading done. And these people were very nice. They didn't say anything about me filming. They just let me do my thing. Yeah, I mean, what's the, the difference? Like, they saw me filming. They didn't say a word. The other guy saw me filming, and he had to get his, he wanted to act tough, and then I had to check his nuts. I just don't appreciate that type of behavior from Karens and Darrens. Bye, Karen. See, when I say bye, Karen, I know he's going to say, my name's not Karen. And then I'm going to say, bye, Darren. And then he's going to say, my name's not Darren. And then I'm going to say, could have fooled me. I'm like one step ahead of these people at all times. Really, really very nice. Nice library though. And you wouldn't know it from looking at the outside, but it's really huge. It's a big one. Yeah, that's what she said.
Oh, she caught me in there. The door's open. Yeah. All right, I'm out of here. I like this. I like this library. No, I do. I do. I like it. I like the. I, I like the Darren that we just met. Thanks very much. Have a good day. Oh, you're welcome. Bye -bye. A beautiful library. Oh, this is it's unbelievable. Like up to date. Oh, it's, Thank it, you it very much. Have a good day. Deceiving from the outside too, because you never think that it was this big and like this kind of nice. How long is this? Has, has this been the library forever? Like, was this original? Uh, you can ask the reference. I, I'm not sure. Oh, you that, know. It's, How it's long a, have you been working here, ma'am? Um, I actually have to go for turn this book. Right. What's your name? What's your name, ma'am? I don't, I don't understand. I have to go return the book. I don't understand that. Hey, um, what is the name of the young lady right back there? Her name is Sue. Sue, thank you very much. Okay. I told yeah. her she, we asked her name, and I just asked her how long she worked here for. She's she's very new. She's only been here a few weeks. So. Uh, no worries. We just, you know, I understand sometimes people are apprehensive to like talk to us if we're in some sort of confrontation with them, but we just stop by to let her know how nice the library was and how beautiful it was, and you know, oh, kind of deceiving from the outside once yeah. you get inside, this and then. And this, this is like the, old, uh, the newer section. This is the only part okay. of the building. Oh, right. So this was built in actually 1998. I don't think she's been the library. No, she, she, it got, it, we're like, all right, well, thanks. Have a day. What's your name? I don't know. That's how I'm making a stop. Yeah. If you don't know what time you actually saw me. When you're in front of the camera, you get a little nervous. I mean, I'm being nice. I'm being mean. Just being friendly. Yeah, you are. She's been here. You've been here for a bit, right? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you can tell that. You know what I mean? Yeah, she's Isn't she's seasoned. The police, I don't... the police and the people that work in the library, they're totally opposite. So when you got yeah. a veteran police officer, he's used to violating people's rights and, and doing what he wants and, and getting away with everything. I don't opposite get... in the library, right? When you got a veteran library, and she knows exactly what. The public's right. Well, listen, the, the library is like the ultimate exhibition of free speech in the First Amendment, right? It's like wall to wall, floor to ceiling, First Amendment shrine, right? It's like, I mean, it's like, you know, but I appreciate it. You're very nice. Right. Very nice. Okay. Very nice place. No hi, how are you? Oh, hi. What's your name? Marie. Marie, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, have a good day. You too. Have a good one. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. We'll get out of your way. Very, very nice. Oh, go hold the let's hold the door for her. Door. Oh, it holds itself. I was gonna hold it for you, but it holds itself. Okay. So, thank you. You're welcome. And that's the reason I stopped you today. Today was a day of apologies. Three videos with Darren's flipping out, followed by discourse about what we were doing, directly followed by them apologizing. And I gotta tell you, it was like I was in the twilight zone. And that's because I'm so used to people telling me that my rights don't matter, and them acting as if they can decide if I can even exercise my rights, and then they just double down. People don't ever apologize and ask for civil discourse. But today, it happened three times. So shout out to this guy, just for willing to even have that conversation and being man enough to apologize. And that's the reason I stopped you today.